Oh, not Mr. Leakey, yes, that's out. Yes, it looked very plumb from here. It was an error of misjudgment as much as anything else from Ron Headley. Then at 47, Fredericks uh, out for a lively, attractive 35. LBW to a good one from Jeff Arnold that moved into him. Oh, that must be close. Yes, it is. It's out. It's the second wicket to fall. The West Indies, Roy Fredericks, the man out. A very good delivery there from Jeff Arnold and looked absolutely plumb. The third wicket to go, Kanhai, was bowled by an absolute trimmer from Tony Gregg, which pitched on middle and just flicked the outside of the off stump for 10. Oh, what a good delivery. A really fine piece of bowling there by Tony Gregg. Rowan Kanai got an absolute beauty there. Duran, which completely turned the tide and wrested the initiative away from England. A lovely shot. Gosh, that was a good stroke. Clive Lloyd faces Arnold. They got again. That's the reason Amos was there, but it's Greg having a long chase. And Karacharan takes three to give him his half century in 115 minutes. No need to chase that. <laughs> but an amazing blow, that. He was never anywhere near it, never anywhere near the length. And it brings up his thousand runs for the season. Alvin Kalicharan is now 57, and he's made 1,002 runs in this season's first-class cricket. That's four runs. And it brings up the 200. 205 for three. And it's there again. Same ball, same shot, four more. And Clyde Lloyd not hanging around in the 90s. 91 to 95, now on to 99. All these boys on the field, they obviously can't count. Well, this really is absolutely stupid. Oh, short swung away. Wonderful shot by Clive Lloyd. Six into the crowd. Volley fairly smashed through the offside by Clive Lloyd for four more runs. Short, powered away for four runs. Tremendous shot again by Clive Lloyd. That brings up the 200th partnership between these two. A truly magnificent performance by Lloyd and Kelly Turan. But now Arnold coming in with a new ball. And that should be it. Caught behind, really a bad shot to a wide ball from Jeff Arnold. No movement in that at all. And a very tired looking shot from Alvin Kelly Turan to end this really excellent partnership. Very disappointed with himself. And a short leg just out of the picture there. Into the wind, Jeff Arnold. It's coming straight down the, the ground. And a big shout for LBW. He's given out LBW. My goodness, what a blow. <laughs> a blistering stroke that was. Arnold didn't quite have time to get the hand down for it. It might have taken his hand with it. A very powerful stroke indeed from Keith Boyd. He's taken the first one very quickly indeed. Fine running there by Boyce. He's able to make two. 
and that was only a little nudge on the offside. So he keeps the strike, moves on to 22. Quite an incredible shot there by Keith Boyce. He almost hit it leaning back and it soared into the pavilion here at the Oval. Really a ferocious hitter. No question now, mid on and mid off are back on the boundary. A bad ball there from Greg outside the leg stump, clipped away. And once again, he's coming back for the second. Fine running again by Boyce this game coming to life again now in the later stages of the Western Indies. Boyce has already taken 10 off this over from Tony Gray. Realises now he's, he's got to throw the bat with not much support coming. 3.56 now. Pitched up again, driven firmer, they'll just take a single. Aim is out at long on. Short, a magnificent shot again. Pulled away, square of the wicket for four more. That was a little bit of a loosener from John Snow, but the crowd now enjoying every minute of this. So that takes Keith Boyce into the 40s, far and away now. His best score in the Test match, 31 previously against Australia during the course of last winter series. And there's nothing he liked better than to repeat the dose of snow that he gave to Tony Gregg with that really enormous six into the pavilion here. He's turned away to long leg and he's going the first like a 100-yard sprinter. He's coming back for the second and he's made it and he's home. Tremendous effort by the Essex all-rounder from Barbados, Keith Boyce. Look at the crowd, they're on the feet. They've enjoyed every minute of this. Really been some brilliant shots in amongst it all. And not one person venturing to come on the field. This is 11th over on the trot. It's safe. Over Lingworth's head. Greg is the fieldsman. He'll cut that off, but not before the batsman can take three runs. So it's three to Boyce. Good running there. Winston was turning at the same time as Boyce. And those runs brought up to 400. And that must be out. Jeffrey Boy cuts under it. Yes, it's the ninth wicket to fall. This time, Underwood breaking the partnership. Spin being brought on. A slower ball that time to Inchinali. Drew him into trying to hit the ball over long on. And merely skied it to Jeffrey Boycott running around from mid wicket. So it's now 405 for nine. Inchinali was caught Boycott. Old Underwood for 15. And Boyce is still there. 68 not out, joined now by the number 11, Lance Gibbs. And it's Derek Underwood bowling to Boyce. And he hammers that away for four runs behind square. Crowd going wild now. A remarkable performance here from Keith Boyce. He moves into the 70s to 72. Eric Underwood, now in his 24th over, he's taken one for 64. It was none for 62 last night. Nice bowling, that's it. 